What's going on everyone? This is Dave Sledge and welcome to Collected Perceptions. Today we're talking about why being a victim is so popular. And before I even begin, I know there are real victims of real crimes. We are not talking about them today. I just wanted to be very clear about that. So without further ado, why being a victim is so popular. I'll tell you why. When you go on social media and you see a post a paragraph or two or three of someone who is so sad. They are so sad because they suffered, yes, suffered, an outrage. When they got their coffee in the morning, they were not treated fairly, were they? No, I bet they weren't. Let me outline something before I even continue. If your problem is not big enough to go completely out of your way at your inconvenience to spend hours on the phone to get to headquarters to resolve it privately. I don't think it's that big of a problem and I'm not encouraging you to blow up headquarters with your bullshit. Don't. Now when you see these posts, what do you also see? I'll tell you what you see. You see 137 comments of people who are so nice. They are so supportive, aren't they? They will stand behind that person's back. Now, they really don't care. They just want other people to see their comment and think, wow, what a nice guy. But that's a discussion for another time. These are the same people that will not hold a door for you if you are more than 10 feet behind them, and yes, that is an educated guess that I've been figuring out on my own in my free time. It's fun. That's a fun one. I believe 10 feet. Now, before I even continue, I have done this before in the past, no longer. That's why I know what I'm talking about. So don't give me shit. What are you going to think when you see that post and you see the results that person is getting? I'll tell you. You think, gee, Everyone in town and maybe others are getting behind that person. They are getting love. I want that. I want that love and that attention. So I think I'm going to do it. Here's the problem. Next time you go out, you are going to be looking for that shit. And I fucking know you do this. You are going to look for it. You will have your phone at the most accessible place all day, won't you? I know. And when I say you're, I hope those people are not watching my shit. For real. Now, this has significant effects on the community as a whole, but that is another discussion for another time. I will outline one more thing and then let you go. When you make that post and you see those results, what are you gonna do? You're gonna fucking do it again, aren't you? I find it to be no coincidence that there are some people out there that simply never do this. And there are people out there that do this often. Repeat offenders. Now this behavior can be reversed, I assure you. But I see a lot of repeat offenders. And I will tell you right now, being someone who is a cross-dresser, I get a lot of stares. I get a lot of looks, understandably. However, the amount of times I am presented a real problem are almost never, if you could believe it, almost never. So I find it very hard to believe for all these people who are constantly doing this. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't fucking believe you. I don't believe you have that big of a problem. And that's exactly why I think being a victim is so popular. Now I am one person with one set of eyes. So if you agree or disagree, and you're not afraid to get thrown into manor prison, let me know and let me know why. I am more than willing to look at this with a open mind. And that's why I started this channel, so we can all gain a better understanding of the world around us. With that being new, I mean, holy shit. With that being said, if you're new to the channel, fucking sorry, we're gonna be here all the time.